Hi guys. Happy Thursday. I missed you yesterday. Um, I tried. I made a really long video with doing my whole hair in a skinny curling iron. And I tested a bunch of dry shampoos, but alas, I'm just didn't work. Microsoft uh, Movie Maker said no. So, it's okay though, because I made that video, well, Josette made that video, and that's more about what we're going to start doing after my duo days have expired. And I'm going to be featuring different people, see beauties of different hair types and textures so you can see how CB works on others. And it was well received. So and let's give to Josette because it's kind of nerve wracking making a video. Great suggestion from Shorty um, to do a Bridget Bardot inspired look. Attempted to do some Bridget Bardot makeup. Mm, maybe, maybe not. And... Matt booked our honeymoon last night, and we're going to go to Italy for five days, and then to Paris for three days. What that has to do with Bridget Bardot, I do believe she's French. That's what it has to do with it. All right. Um, but the Bridget Bardot look is actually quite fortunate because I got three days of dry shampoo, and we're going to make it four. So let's shake up our sample, which I'm liking a lot. Dry shampoo gives your hair great texture. So I'm brushing it through. Essentially a modern Bridger Bardot, which is a very voluminous, or at least has a big of staff French twist. But the side, like the bang area was quite straight and had like straight pieces. So I have plugged in the curl, the flat iron and we're gonna get the ridge out of my bangs with it. Oh, lip gloss and hair and eyes and hair. And I also did a half head test yesterday between the Cebu Dry Shampoo and TG Rockaholic, but we missed that too. Maybe I'll do that again next week. And now I'm taking the crown up here, which already has a lot of texture to it because of the shampoo. And I'm going to first... Spray it with Root Booster and back comb. Work that, brush that through. Hmm, that is a lift. some more just to be safe and you can you back home it so it stands straight up and then you smooth it down you smooth over the top you kind of can leave that texture back there to prop up so you just comb top look at the back make it a little neat and Bridget's hair wasn't perfect on the side so and then we are just really simply going to scoop and pin um, I do think I'm going to use some sticky rice on my fingertip emulsify in the palm spread it on the sides and like around this pony part so that when we tuck it under, it sticks. And then a, over the top of the bump. We still gotta work on the bangs because they have a ridge in them. And this is definitely the type of do I don't necessarily think you have to wear four days of dry shampoo, but this is a second day hair look. You can do it when your hair is clean, but um, you really benefit from the grit because it'll hold a dramatic updo in place, whereas really clean hair will slip out because the cuticle is so smooth, right? These are all roughed up, which is not a bad thing. It just means it's texturized. Okay, so can you think we can do this in one fell swoop? Take 
taking that back there. Bump that up. Twist it under and around and up and pin. And then secure. The other thing that we're going to use the flat iron for is that the picture and the pictures I've seen of her kind of have like some straight parts coming out. It's not all in on the side. Comb it through. Right here. Do not want to lose this bump at the top because that's the uh, essence of the whole look. And we don't want it to be too loose because it has to look like it's an updo. So take a little bit on top and kind of pin it under. One reason that's not working is I'm trying to flat iron different lengths at once, and I told you guys about that. It just doesn't ever work. All right, a little bit more sticky rice. One more time. Don't be afraid, people. Don't be afraid. That's what's going to keep it in all day. Hmm. See, boo loves you.